Expecting tough talks today on the USF budget crisis, USF President Dr. Judy Genshaft will face off with the state senator leading the charge to cut funding by hundreds of millions of dollars to state universities. USF's budget is projected to suffer the largest cut. Our Carson Chambers is in Tallahassee this morning to cover the budget battle for, up, for us up close. She joins us now to tell us what we can expect today. Good morning, Carson. Good morning, Dia. USF's president will uh, board a plane very early this morning. She will be flying to Tallahassee, and we're told that Judy Ginshaft will be accompanied by USF COO John Long. They are expected in a meeting around 1 p.m. this afternoon with Senate Budget Committee Chair J.D. Alexander. They're going to meet in a conference room here at the Capitol to talk this budget through. Now, the bill, which is headed to the Senate, aims to cut $103 million from USF's budget. Many feel that these disproportionate cuts are Alexander's political revenge because he feels USF has stalled in pushing USF Polytechnic towards independence. The unfairness that was being doled out to the University of South Florida over all the other 11 universities really was not to be tolerated in, in this community. And we have to continue that message because this is not a, a sprint. This is a marathon. I can't believe that uh, tr continuing to trust uh, university leadership that's been that uh, disingenuous in their actions and act activities could possibly be um, forthright in their assertion that they want to do as the Board of Governors has said and create the 12th University. Now Alexander maintains that USF has the money, millions in reserves to cover these cuts, but USF says that it would have to begin layoffs in April should these cuts go through. Count on us to be at that meeting at 1 o'clock this afternoon and bring you live coverage tonight. We're live in Tallahassee. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.